Hi, and welcome back to AmericanOutdoors.net. I've been clearing a whole lot of timber lately. I've been very busy. Um, some of it I've been doing to make room for food plots, um, for planting some things, and we're going to be putting up some uh, buildings in this area shortly, hopefully when the weather breaks. But behind me, you can see I've dropped three trees. The first one was a, a white oak, and that one I laid down first. The second one is a yellow pine, and I laid it down on top of the white oak. The third tree I cut was another yellow pine, and I dropped it across both of the trees before it. And I did that. As you can see, I've got it laying, so a large section of it is still off the ground, and I'm going to be able to cut that into rounds um, without the aid of a helper or equipment, hopefully. But some of you might be wondering, well, how much wood can you get out of a section of tree? Now you can go online and you can uh, find sites that will help you do the math and, uh, and you can figure it out. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a 45 foot section of this pine tree right here all the way up to about where the first large branch is sticking out at the 11 o'clock position. And that's about 45 feet. And I'm going to cut that into rounds and then I'm going to split it right here and then behind me against this cargo trailer I'm going to stack the wood. Now to do the measurements I've already got an idea in my head about how much wood this is going to make uh, and I'm going to post a cheat sheet for you as well so you can see what I see and how I calculate it. Uh, just so you know I'm standing on top of the stump right now I cut about four and a half feet almost five feet off of the bottom and that's where I measure my uh, circumference. This tree is about 16 inches uh, right there across using my tape measure and it decreases a little bit as it goes up but I'm gonna run a 45 foot stretch uh, unencumbered with real branches I gotta trim and I'm gonna cut these into rounds and I'm gonna split them and stack them yellow pine and then you'll see for yourself when I'm done how much wood I've got and I'll compare it to what I think I'm going to end up with as well. So let's get started.
So, I have 30 rounds uh, logs behind me that I rolled or carried uh, up here in one spot. I want to be able to just, uh, I'm not a big fan of handling wood more than you have to. I want to keep it up here so I can put it on the pallet and then when I'm done I'll be able to do probably a more accurate count of volume. Uh, also, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan at my age of splitting wood anymore with an axe. If you've seen our earlier videos, mostly what I use is a gas-powered splitter processor. So I guess it's kind of like being in uh, rush hour traffic in a big city on your Harley. You swear you're not going to do it again until you do it again. So I'm going to split this by hand. I've got two cheap axes and there's a story behind those too and I'm going to do a video in a couple weeks I think on, on uh, some axes that I think are pretty interesting. But anyway, I'm going to put a Benny Hill fast forward on this. Uh, I'm going to show you I'm going to show me cutting enough wood, splitting enough wood with an axe that you believe I actually did it and there's nobody else. And then I'll cut to the ending and we'll go from there. So I'm going to get started. logs split by hand it's getting dark so losing daylight but I thought I'd come out here and show you I've got one one over there for me to sit on in just a minute here's our wood so behind me you can see the wood uh, I averaged about two minutes a log up until oh about halfway through and that about doubled but uh, most of the logs went, uh, went apart pretty easy. They split really well, except for about the last five. Those seem to have all somehow moved and grouped together, and they waited for me at the very end. Those were full of knots. Anyway, it's late. I'm uh, going to grab a hot shower and a hot dinner. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be out here bright and early. I'm going to measure this. And we'll do the computations about what this should add up on paper versus what it should add up uh, right here. All right, so it's the next morning and we have snow. It's almost March. The stack I've got here, as you can tell, it's a really sloppy pile. Uh, but doing this by myself and I knew this wasn't going to stay here, I just basically just kind of dropped it all on top of each other. Fortunately, um, I've got two college age boys that'll be home soon for Easter break. I am positive they will be more than enthusiastic and energetic to relocate and repurpose and restack this for their dad. Anyway, I'm going to post that information sheet um, so you can kind of see some calculations on how you can arrive at a conclusion on how much wood you can get from a tree based on uh, the uh, width and the height. A face cord, for those who don't know, a face cord is eight foot wide, four foot high, 16 inches deep. 
A face cord is eight foot wide, four, in, uh, four feet tall, and uh, 16 inches deep. A full cord of firewood is eight foot wide, four foot tall, and it's 48 inches deep. It's four feet deep, eight by four by four. My measurements on this, uh, it's about nine feet wide. And if I leveled this all out, it would probably come out pretty close to about two and a half feet tall. And it's about 32 inches deep. So <clears throat> according to the sheet that I posted, I should have somewhere between a little under a half a cord to a half a cord of firewood from what I cut. I've got a little bit more than that uh, by my calculations. Now, if I put a decimal point on it, I'd say probably more like 0 0.60 or just around two-thirds of a cord, of a full cord of firewood. How did that happen? Well, one thing I will say about the pine tree is it was 16 inches at its base, and it really didn't diminish much as it got to the end of that 45-foot length. Uh, it was about the same diameter all the way through, so there may have been a little extra wood that's not accounted for in that sheet. Um, but in any, anyway, I've got two-thirds of a cord. So, if you're looking to cut firewood and you're not sure how much firewood you'll need for your home, well, if you burn about four cords of wood in a winter, uh, based on this, you would probably need around six trees to get you through the winter if you're heating your home solely with firewood. Anyway, I hope that helps you, and I'm going to post some videos here of some previous uh, segments we did that's related material. If you're interested, check it out. Hit our subscribe button if you want to be alerted when new stuff comes out. But I appreciate you watching. Thanks, folks. God bless, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.